hi guys hi good people and now welcome back to my youtube channel for those who are new here or clicking by for the very first time welcome to this channel my name is mary and this is mary's motivation where we are all about motivation inspiration educational content personality tests and so much more so on today's video guys i want you to ask yourself what do you think about or what comes to your mind when you hear the word self-care self-care do you think about maybe going to get a massage do you think about going to get your nails or toe done do you think about maybe just sleeping in do you think about maybe going to the doctor to check your health or to see how you're doing? How do you practice your self-care or what comes into your mind when you hear of the word self-care? And in today's video, I'll be sharing with you some of the ways in which we can practically, practically be able to do this self-care even without going to the spa even without sleeping in even without doing those massages how do we practice real self-care so welcome again to the channel and let's get straight into today's topic so the first thing that we can do or we should do to practice real self-care is improve our mental diet improve your mental diet i know when we have problems with our bodies when we have problems which are disturbing our immune systems we might go to the doctors and get a, a told how we should improve our diet and in this term our eating habits but also to practice real self-care we have to improve our mental diet so everything changes when you realize that your diet isn't just what you eat it isn't just what you take in from the mouth it's what you watch what you read who you follow and who you spend your time with so if your goal is having a healthier mind if your goal is trying to have a stable mind and being able to be well mentally start by removing all the junk from your mental diet so watch what you're reading watch what you watch who you follow and who you spend your time with and that is one form of practicing real self-care the second thing that we can do so as to practice real self-care is to learn to let people down learning to let people down really so much easier said than done really 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 so much easier said than done because some of us have been groomed or have grown up to be people pleasers people who do not want to let others down people who put others needs before themselves and get or end up being hurt so your mental health as in also the first point is more important than your career it is more important than money it is more important than other people's opinions of you so if you are taking care of yourself this means letting someone down and if it means that you have to let somebody down so that you can have a good state of mind so that you can be at peace so that you can be less anxious and let less fearful please do let that person down let those people down do not be the person who puts people's people's needs always ahead of yours somebody who puts others always ahead of yourself at the expense 
of your mental health at the expense of your physical health at the expense of your own peace because you cannot you cannot be able to feel others from a point of being empty if you yourself you are empty you do not have anything to give you cannot be able to give to others so learn to let those people down learn to tell them i cannot come through for you at this moment i cannot be there for you today learn to let those people down and that is also another form of practicing real self care the that thing that we can do so that you can practice this real self care that we are talking about today is making replacements make replacements like the second point where we have to let people down this point of making replacements it is a point of real self care replace toxic friends with mentors replace complaining with gratitude replace blame with responsibility instead of blaming others for your faults instead of blaming others for things that went wrong take responsibility replace overthinking with action so make replacements if you want to have this real self care if you want to practice this self care please do make replacements the fourth point that we need to take into consideration so as to practice the real self care is to set clear boundaries and after we have set these clear boundaries let us protect them set your clear boundaries and after you have set those clear boundaries protect those boundaries you should know that you do not lose real friends real opportunities or real relationships but when you start standing up for yourself and setting clear boundaries you might lose those fake ones so the real ones will always be there the real ones will stay but the fake ones they will go so you have to set the clear boundaries and you have to protect them you have to stick by these boundaries anything that you lose or anybody that leaves when you stand up for yourself or when you set these clear boundaries is something you have gained it is something that you have gained and it is a form of real self care because you have known who is real and who is not who can stand by me or who can understand me and be with me even at this time when i need to follow through on my boundaries and then you lose those who are not there for you or those who were just faking it before you made these boundaries that is another form of real self care and finally finally lastly but not least the last point that we can be able to put into place in our lives and practice this real self care is to stop self rejecting stop self rejecting people already know how to criticize you people already know how to take you apart why are you self rejecting if you want to practice this real, real self care stop self rejecting so many people will try to stop you from reaching your full potential don't allow yourself to be one of them when the others when the other people are telling you you cannot make it when the other people are laughing at you when the other people are watching you do not be one of those people who is pulling yourself down do not be one of those people who is sabotaging yourself who is rejecting yourself and saying that i cannot do it and that i cannot make it so 
scared you'll be rejected, apply for that job anyway. Scared about their opinion, be yourself anyway. It's time to stop self-rejecting your life and move on with it and move forward and be your biggest fan. You are your biggest fan. Push yourself. Stop self-rejecting and stop self sabotaging so there you go guys those are five ways in which we can be able to practice real self-care those are five tips which we can apply in our lives so that we can practice real self-care apart from the physical things or other things that we do these are approaches that we can take in our lives and see our lives improve as a form of real self-care thank you very much for watching until this point of the video if you liked the video please do not forget to give the video a big big thumbs up also if you are new here please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified every single time i upload a new video and until the next one i'll see you all then